I, uh, oh, there it is. I, uh, had my RC Cola next to me, and I was just looking for it. Some of these houses don't look all that big when you get the framing and done all of them. Boop. 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 What the heck? Oh, no, I still have a... Uh, I'll take fly off. You can no longer fly. I'll take it off. I had it on there for the last session because I was working on the tower. I'm getting hungry. And it is also time for uh, nighttime. So, okay, so if you remember last session, uh, the thing with the carrots, and I was never really able to figure it out. I don't know if I clarified it or yet uh, what had happened in that session. But I think, I think the the rule of thumb is, oh, I grew, sh uh, I'll talk about that after this. I think the rule of thumb with uh, carrots and potatoes is, if you eat them raw, they only give you one, one and a half bar of health. And I think the rule of thumb is, and I don't know why it's not like this for anything else, or at least not that I know of, but if you eat the, if you eat a carrot and it takes you to, and it takes you to, like, within one bar or a half a bar left of your food meter, I think it will auto make you eat one more just so that it fills it completely. And I think that's why, because I was uploading my video, <coughs> wow, voice crack, hello. I was uploading my other videos a couple days ago, and I was re-watching that video just to take a second look at what happened. And each time I ate a carrot when I was three bars down, it would take me up to a, a bar and a half or a bar to go, and it would auto-eat the next carrot in my hand, which now makes sense because that would explain why I would go from six to four on one serving of the carrot. I just wouldn't see my I just wouldn't see the the animation of me eating the second carrot. And I think that's what happened. Now like I said, I don't know if uh hold on, my throat's getting dry. I don't know if uh I don't know if that's the rule of thumb for everything food related in this game. Or if it's just those two. I can't say as if I, uh, um, I can't say as if I've like been three or four bars down, and I've got more than like two apples in my hand. Where I go to eat one apple, and then I out to eat another one. So I don't know. I'm down to my last stack of freaking cobble. This is pathetic. I gotta go cobble mining again. God dang it. But it's a good start. We're off to a really good start, actually. I'm really surprised. Doing all that cobble mining at the beginning was really helpful. But yeah, I don't know like what the deal was with that. I don't know why the game thinks that, oh, maybe there's a setting I can change. I don't, but I don't know why the game thinks if you're one food bar out and your health still regens, why it should matter whether if you get all the way full or not. I don't know if the game's just trying to look out for you and look out for you else. They're like, hey, buddy, just eat an extra one. Well, sometimes you need that extra one, like, if you're trying to grow or, like, get crops down or something. Like, if you're trying to grow crops and you need, like, exactly five and then it makes you eat the extra and you only have four, then that, that's not, that's no bueno. You can't do that. Oh, wow, and you can't do that either. So that was just, that was my own little thing about it. I, uh, oh, you know what would be a really good test to do that on? Watermelon. Because I don't think that watermelons, let's see, a, a watermelon, uh, hold on. My freaking nose is itching. Um, I don't know, a watermelon slice I think gives you one, one and a half, depending on what you're doing. Can't say as if I've ever... I hear a zombie. Oh, glad we still got that in from last session. More zombies. So this is what I'm going to do right now. And it's a little bit of cheatsy doodling, but it's to save, you know, that's as it's going to auto-save. This is what I'm going to do. 
So you see, I've got a new iron pickaxe in my inventory. I'm going to go in creative. And I'm going to give myself two stacks of 64 cobblestone. And I will throw away this new pickaxe. Like, I'll throw it into the lava or into... Whoa. I'll throw it into the lava or I'll throw it into the cactus. Because... Two stacks of cobblestone is roughly about one usage of a brand new iron pickaxe. I'll keep this old battleground one. And I'm gonna, I may as well go, I mean. You know, I've got 12 coal on me all of a sudden. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm not gonna do that. This is, uh, this is what I'm gonna do, though. I know for a fact that these aren't being used, so I'm gonna throw that in there. And I'm gonna throw the three iron in there. I got three perfect iron and then two sticks. I think I mined out a little bit of iron when I was getting all this cobblestone, and I think that's may have what happened. I'm officially out of cobble. Do I really want to go cobble farming? Uh, oh wait, no, no, yeah, yes I do, yeah, and yes I can, because if, from what I can recall, there's like a little patch of cobble right over here, and I don't know why or how it came to be, so... That's a mountain I could use. Remember when I dug into that mountain over there? I'm like, alright, this is great. I'm going to go cobble farming. Nope. It's a cave and it's got lava in it. That was fun times, fun times. This will give me a good decent amount of cobble and I won't have to go into creative and theoretically cheat. But I'm just, I was, I was basically looking out for the fans and for the viewers. I didn't want to, like, bore people with just cobble mining. This is going to be a decent amount of cobblestone, though, so we're going to see how this works out. And there's coal right here, which is ironic. Maybe this should be another mine shaft or whatever. Maybe that's what I should do. Oh, I'll make a makeshift mine. Think about it. Like, I, I, I've got enough sand, and I think I've got gunpowder at the house from all those times I killed creepers to, uh... To like makeshift a mine using TNT. And that can be the mine that I want to put next to the village. But before we get there, we need to finish the village. Like I said, I think I said this in the last session, I'll say it again. This mine shaft making of mine will probably not come for another couple of sessions. So it should be by maybe mid-October or late October is when you guys will get to see this. Speaking of late October, that Halloween, uh, wonder if, uh, wonder if Junior 8's gonna be doing any more, uh, any more of those Halloween specials. So yeah, this is a bullshit like a little makeshift mine. I may as well just get out this way. And yes, I did. I just did break a grass block with an axe. What you gonna do about it? I may as well, I mean, while I'm here, I may as well just get this, get the trees. As my mom burps off camera in the living room, great. Such professionalism. <laughs> do 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 now, I should have pretty close to 60. That is a big one over there. Impressive. Oh, uh, do, 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 do. So, I don't really... What would be another food thing to... Like, test that theory out on? Can I get that? I can! Look at that! Ha ha! This is a big tree. What am I... Who am I kidding? This is a big tree. I'm gonna have to... Oh my god. And I have no... Oh, it looks like I'm using sand. 